Welcome to Finance Cottage video series on financial management. Let's take a quick review of lesson 1. The topic is the role of financial management and in this video we shall discuss what is financial management, what should be the goal of firm and introduction to modern corporation. Let's start with the definition of financial management. Financial management is concerned with acquisition, financing and management of assets with some overall goal in mind means that finance manager has to take three important decisions. First one is the acquisition of assets which is the investment decision that how much should how much uh, uh, value should be invested to acquire the assets. Second one is that what source should be utilized to to acquire these assets that is the financing decision. And third one is the routine decision which is asset management decision that how to manage these assets. All these three decisions are taken by finance manager with some overall goal in mind and what is that overall goal we shall discuss it after a few slides. So let's talk about these three decisions in detail. First decision is acquisition decision or investment decision. It is related with the left hand side of the balance sheet which is the asset side. It is the it is a most important uh, decision among all three decisions taken by finance manager. Now finance manager has to decide that what should be the optimal firm size. Firm size is represented by the total value of assets of the firm. And after finalizing the optimal firm size, it should be finalized that what specific assets should be acquired. Normally there are two main types of assets in the balance sheet of, of, of a firm, current assets and fixed assets. So it is the job of finance manager to decide that how much should be the optimal level of current assets and what should be the optimal level of fixed assets. And if any case, uh, what asset should be reduced or eliminated. So these are a few examples uh, of, of uh, investment decisions taken by finance manager. Second important decision is financing decision. It is related with the right hand side of the balance sheet which includes owner's equity and liabilities owners equity and liabilities are sources of funds so finance manager decides that what is the best type of financing available to the company and what is the best financing mix and what is the best dividend policy and if need arises how the fund will be physically acquired so all these three decisions are known as financing decisions because it is related with the provision of funds to the business. Third important decision is asset management decision which is a routine decision taken by finance manager and it is related with the management of current assets. Uh, current assets include the cash balance, uh, the account receivables and inventories etc. So these, these current assets are required to be managed on daily basis and in routine um, finance finance operations so these three decisions are taken by finance manager with some overall goal in mind there is uh, some overall goal which finance manager wants to achieve and what's that goal is that goal is maximization of shareholders wealth shareholders wealth maximization means maximization of uh, of, of share price because share price is the barometer to to evaluate the performance of the business now why the shareholders wealth maximization is considered as the ultimate goal of the firm because we can say that why not the the profit maximization why not the maximization of earning per share so there are sir, there are few uh, short shortfalls or shortcomings of of uh, some alternative objectives uh, because of which we say that maximization of shareholders wealth should be the ultimate goal for example if we say that the ultimate goal of the firm should be profit maximization that is maximization of of, of firms earning after tax and it has certain shortcomings for example profit can be increased while harming the firm by for example uh, deferring maintenance or by issuing common stock to buy treasury bills so this will no doubt increase the profit of the business the earning after tax of the business but by issuing common stock if you are buying t bills and getting returns then this will dilute earning per share so it has it, it should not be considered as um, uh, the ultimate goal of the firm second important 
this uh, goal which you can we, we can say that should be the goal of of the firm is maximization of earning per share so again for due to the same reason that it does not specify timing or duration of expected return and also it ignores the risk level so that's why this should not be the ultimate goal of of uh, of, of the firm and if earning per share maximization is the is is, is considered as the ultimate goal of of the firm then it means that we are going for a zero payout dividend policy so if if you are not paying dividend definitely the shareholders will not attract towards uh, your company so that's why uh, earning per share maximization uh, should not be called as the ultimate goal of the firm now there are certain strengths of shareholders wealth maximization now because share price serves as a barometer for business performance therefore if share price is increasing uh, you can make a guess that firm is performing well and if the share price of uh, of of the company is decreasing this means that the firm is not doing good and it also takes into account current and future profits and earning per share and timing duration risk risk of profits dividend policy and all other relevant factors so that is why shareholders wealth maximization should be called as the ultimate goal of of the firm now from financial management viewpoint there is an important character of modern corporation and this is separation of ownership and control shareholders are the principals and they appoint management who is the agent an agent is assumed to uh, act on behalf of the principal and in the best interest of the principal but this uh, is not the case always because management has more operating powers and they can use or they can exercise their powers to get private benefits so to stop management to work Uh, for their personal benefits shareholders are required to provide them certain incentives and this situation of separation of ownership and control creates a problem which is known as agency problem now agency problem basically states that principals must provide incentives so that management acts in principals best interest and then monitor results who are principals shareholders shareholders are the principals so shareholders must provide incentives to the management to enforce management to work in the best interest of the shareholders what sorts of uh, sort of in- incentives shareholders can provide to management these incentives include stock options perquisites bonuses and other su- similar types of incentives these incentives enforce management to work honestly and in the best interest of principals now finally uh, the issue is the issue uh, the important issue is social responsibility we have considered wealth maximization as the ultimate goal of finance uh, financial management but this wealth maximization goal does not preclude the firm from being socially responsible uh simply speaking we can say that wealth maximization should the goal of wealth maximization should not be achieved at the expense of uh, th- uh, the betterment of the society so this means that firm should not engage itself in activities which are harmful for the society to get profit or to to to, to maximize the wealth so if the if we say that the ultimate goal of of the firm is to maximize shareholders wealth we assume that the firm is socially responsible firm is not doing a business which is harmful for the society or the environment so if the firm is socially responsible then we can say that shareholder holders wealth maximization goal is the perfect and the ultimate goal of financial management and is the ultimate goal of the firm thank you for your time